guys, Talia here and welcome back to another video on my channel. So I just wanted to show you my last week's completed spread. Okay guys, this week was the absolute most best, awesomest layout for me. I utilized my life planner so much this last week and I am insanely excited about that. Like so, so excited. It looks amazing. Like I knocked so many things off my checklist. I loved having this separate to-do section, separate wedding section. Um, I loved my wedding sidebar. You can see I didn't really use the wedding to pay because we didn't have any wedding payments that were due this week. So um, my next plan with me will be a little bit different for that. Um, a couple things that actually I think there's just two things that didn't really work for me this week. Um, I wish I would have thought about this sooner and I will do this differently in my, my plan with me for this week. But I am going to bump up my personal, like I'm going to put my nail work and my personal in one box and then I'll have my to-do and my wedding to-do. I think that'll look a lot better than separating it the way that I did. But at the same time, I didn't know that I was going to have a separate personal section, but I did need one. So I'm going to break this one up into two is what I'm going to do. And then I'll have a to-do and a wedding to-do. This hydrate checklist on the side here was like an absolute disaster for me. I didn't use it at all this week. So I'm going to go back to using my... Um, either my hydrate on the bottom or my little hydrate bottles. I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with it, but I did not like this one on the side. Again, this was an insanely busy week, so maybe that is why I didn't use it, but it just, it just was not working for me this week. Oh, and I got so many comments from you guys. It was so cute. Um, telling me that I forgot about my wedding countdown stickers, which I totally did. I totally forgot to put those in my plan with me, but I did go in after the plan with me was filmed and I added them. So, I have it written down on my like plan with me for this week to like 100% make sure I do my countdown stickers. So, oh my gosh, here is hoping that I remember to do that. But you guys were so sweet at, at telling me that and reminding me about that. That was so funny. I didn't, I honestly didn't think anybody would notice, but yeah, you guys totally did. So that was really cute. Okay, so we are planning from Monday, uh, September 7th to the 13th. My wedding is two weeks away. And if you guys are self-employed and especially if you're a nail techs, the week or two before you take off a lot of time is like a freaking nightmare with clients. Like trying to get everybody in. Yeah, basically I have the Monday off for Labor Day. I made sure to take that day off. And then I'm working from my Tuesday all the way until the following Tuesday. And then I'm taking off from the Wednesday on for my wedding. So this is a giant like nail work week, but I still have to get a ton of wedding stuff done this week too. So it's going to be a really busy week, but I'm, I'm excited to plan it all out and I'm excited to like dive into it. So let's get started here. First thing we're going to do as usual is just take off all of our little stickies. Okay, so this week's plan with me is going to be a fall plan with me, which is super exciting. Where I live, the leaves are changing colors. It's got like that crisp fall air. It's totally fall here. Like 100% it is fall here. So I know it might not be fall everywhere, but it's fall here. So I'm doing a fall uh, themed week. So, um, Brittany from Let's Plan It, she was super awesome and she actually mailed these uh, autumn stickers out to me before they were released, which was super great because I, I really wanted to do this week's spread for you guys, uh, autumn themed. So we are using her um, fall sticker set as inspiration for this week. So we've got our heart check or we've got our fall checklist, we've got some fall uh, strips and then we've got some full boxes, half boxes and quarter boxes, which is what this week is going to be designed around. So I am going to pull a bunch of stickers and stuff that matches this and then we will jump into our plan with me here. Another thing about the Let's Planet Fall kit is she does have weekend banners for them, but because she had sent mine so early, she uh, didn't include the weekend banner. So I have a weekend banner coming, which I'm going to include. And so um, my final like plan with me will include it, but this actual like spread with like you guys watching me plan it uh, won't have the weekend banner, but my picture on Instagram will. So uh, make sure that you watch for that. And I'm just going to try and find like colors that match this for my morning days and nights. And that's the very first thing I'm going to do is cover up my morning day and nights with all of my headings. Okay, so I have three sticker sets from Let's Planet that I'm going to use. This coral set, a lot of the like kind of orangey colors will match it really nicely. And actually, I'm only going to use two. And then this kind of coral and green set will match really nice. And then the custom ones that I made or had made from Crest Press, there's some greens and some browns on here that'll work really nice. I think they'll tie in really nicely. So... Uh, this is not going to be like a strictly Let's Plan It plan with me, but uh, I will be using a lot of stickers from her as well as like the whole entire set will be inspired by this. So that's pretty fun. Okay, so we're going to do personal. I'm going to do personal across the entire top. So because I only have four of her half boxes, I'm going to alternate them. So for every other day. Oh, right. I 
I forgot to tell you guys, her uh, new stickers are repositionable, which is nice because I like to make mistakes quite often, <laughs> not on purpose. And it's nice that we can like lift her stickers up and move them where we need to now. This one's my favorite. This leaf one, it's got like a little grid behind it. It looks so fun. I love it. Okay, so I'm just going to go find my Rory Sweet Addiction stickers because she's got some um, check boxes and stuff that I want to put in here. So she's got some like burnt oranges, which will be really nice. I can tie this spread together pretty nice with them, I think. Now I'm going to go in with my nail work category is where you hear from like everybody that fall is their favorite time of year. Is there anybody watching this right now where fall is not your favorite time of year? <laughs> Comment below and let me know. Fall is like 100% my favorite time of year. Actually, I'm a huge fan of winter too. Okay, so I am just going to leave that with all this white space. Um, I'm so far, I'm liking how that's coming together, but I am going to leave that with all the white space. Then I'm going to go in with my to-do headings. I think I need some more green on here though, so let's, let's try and pull in some more green here. My like fall loving heart is just loving this so far. I love all the colors on this spread. Okay, so I'm gonna alternate these full boxes now. So wherever I had my half boxes, I'm gonna alternate and do my full boxes here, which means I will have one left. Ugh, again, like her leaf ones, they are my favorite. I love this kind of like, this one that I'm putting in here. I don't even know what type of print this is. It's almost like a dandelion print, but I love the colors on it. Oh, I think that looks so good. And then on the other days, I'm going to go in with um, some of her checklists here. So Brittany, I have to say that I love that your stickers are repositionable, especially with long nails. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I love my long nails, but stickers that are not repositionable with long nails are kind of a nightmare to use. <laughs> I mean, I can make them work, but I love that she gives so many heart checklists on her sheet. Because for me, especially because I basically use my Erin Condren Life Planner as like a giant to-do list every single day. I keep track of like a bunch of different personal events and stuff like that too. But I mean, in all honesty, I mainly use it as like a to-do list. So having a whole bunch of checklists is like amazing. I wish I had a brown wedding to-do to put on that one. Okay, I am going to pull one of these like bright yellow ones in here. Perfect. Okay, then we're going to go back in again with some of her heart checklists here. I don't want to put any sort of decorative ones in these boxes just because this close to the wedding I need as much of my checklist as like humanly possible. So I have a haul video coming up on um, all of Brittany's new, well actually I don't have all of her stickers, I just have some of the ones that interest me, but um, I'm so excited to show them to you guys. She came up with some like really fun new theme sets. Oh and another thing, I do have a coupon code for uh, Let's Plan It. It is Talia Plans 15, so if you guys use it, you will save 15% off of your order, so that's awesome. Yeah, so I'm loving how that's coming together so far. Here, let me turn that straight for you guys. Okay, so her little strippy things at the bottom here. I am going to use this one. I'm really liking how that's coming together, and I'm not entirely sure, like, what you could use these ones for. I guess we could go up the side with them. I think there's probably enough that I would just have to cut it, which will be good because I didn't really know what washi I was going to use up the side. I like this one, but it takes up too much space and I really need my sidebar. Yeah, same thing. I was thinking about using this one, but nope, I'm not going to. I am going to use one of hers. Ugh, I cannot wait to start using my new life planner where I don't have to worry about stupid polka dots. Polka dots are not stupid. I do like polka dots, but I'm kind of tired of them on my planner. Okay, so I'm going to use this last full box to cover up this September over here. I'm just going to put a to-do. So this will be my weekly to-do. still have to decide what I'm going to do to cover up those dots on the side here. Okay, so I really don't have any washi that will fit, that will match. So I am just going to use her like long stickers. And then I kind of figured that like I'm going to have a bunch of headings and stuff over here that I think will cover up some of those other dots here as well. Uh, that matches like perfect. Oh, that's funny. The only like tape that I probably would have liked to incorporate in this one would have been this one. I think that looks really cute. And I guess I could have like put this one on the side, on the bottom. Ooh, I really like that too. Guys, this is so difficult. Yeah, Ugh, I'm pulling these up <laughs> again. I'm glad that they're repositionable. I really liked these ones, but I just think that I like this one more. Okay, so these, this tape here is not washi tape. It is um, fabric tape that I got from Michaels. I'm a big fan of the fabric tape. And I said this in my last video, uh, once I am back from my honeymoon, I will be using a different life planner. I do have one of the new Erin Condren 2015-2016 um, life planners, and I will be switching to one of those. So 
this fabric tape adds like a little bit more bulk to your planner than say uh, washi tape usually would but I don't care so much just because I will be switching to a new planner and I also took out all of the remaining months in my planners to make it not so bulky too. Ooh, okay, I really like how that turned out. So, okay, looking back at last week, I want to make my wedding to buy a little bit bigger. And I'm going to use the bottom bar. I don't know if I said this, but I'm not going to use the bottom bar for meal planning this week. I'm going to use it as wedding to go. Because we, every single day I've been noticing that I have like a bunch of places that I need to go for wedding planning. So I'm going to use the bottom for that. And you'll see my bottom bar next week will be different too for my uh, wedding week actually. Because I've got a different idea for the bottom bar that week as well. Okay, then I am going to do my general wedding things on the side here. So awesome, I'm really liking how this is all coming together here. I am going to change my dates again. And I am going to use, and I'll have this in a planner supply haul coming up, but... I bought this like little pad of scrapbook paper from a local dollar store and I'm totally going to use this for this week. So I have this one and then I have this one as well. So I'm going to use this like leaf paper on both of them. You guys know when I stamp these that I'm not like super precise. I don't really, I don't really care so much. I can be like, like a tad like anal or OCD about like certain things, but there's a lot of things that don't really, don't really get to me and this is one of them was not like originally what I had planned for my fall week. Like I was totally gonna do like an owl theme or something that's like really fallish, but I love this kind of like vintage fall look. So this is our layout so far. I'm just gonna go in and start filling stuff in for the week now. Okay, so on Monday on Labor Day here, the only thing that I really have on my to-do list for nail work is I have to do my confirmation text for my clients for the week. Okay, so for personal, I'm working on the slideshow for her wedding basically like my entire day tomorrow so I just want to make note of that and to denote that I'm going to use one of these little cameras from Caress Press. So I just want to go back to my wedding checklist from the last week and see what wedding to do's I did not accomplish and that I need to add to this week's. Oh and I should mention this pen that I use. I mentioned it in some videos and some videos I forget. It is a Pilot GTAC C4 pen. It is my favorite pen of life. It writes um Point four, right? Super small. I absolutely love it. So especially when you've got like a ton of to-dos and stuff, it's amazing for that. I'm actually, guys, I'm going to completely remove this um, wedding to pay sticker because I really don't think we have any wedding payments this week that are of note. And I'm like already running out of room of like my wedding to buy section. So I'm just going to kibosh it and just get rid of the to pay. Okay, on Tuesday, I have a dentist appointment. So I just need to find a dentist sticker. I don't even know if I have a dentist sticker. Okay, so I totally cannot find a dentist sticker. I guess out of all of my sample kits, I have no dentist one. <laughs> but I'm going to use this doctor sticker from the Emerald Bluebirds sample kit. Okay, honestly, the only other thing on my to-do list for this week is on Friday. And my bridesmaid and I have a dress fitting appointment. I talk about this in an upcoming wedding planning video, but I so wish that I could use these Oh Hello stationery stickers. I haven't used like any of them in all honesty, but her colors just don't match like any week that I've ever done. I, every time I have a wedding appointment, I look at her stickers to use them and they never match whatever I have going on. So sadly, I won't be using this again. Okay, I'm gonna use one of the L Heart Designs dress fitting stickers. They are ginormous, but that is like really my only to-do list on Friday. So there we go. I think that's gonna look awesome, dress fitting. Okay, so I just looked at all my wedding stickers. And notice that I did not use my wedding countdown stickers. So let's try and find somewhere to use them. Did it again, guys. Did it again. <laughs> I think I'm just going to put them all in the corner of my wedding to-do days, though. I think that'll that'll work out nice. Seriously, this is like the first thing I'm going to put down in my next one, in my next week's. But next week's is going to be completely different. There will be like no to-do lists and there will be no personal and there will be no like nail work. It'll basically just be like wedding week has thrown up in your face. Oh my god, that's so crazy. Ah! The Saturday will be a week until my wedding. I can't even like fathom that. Oh my gosh. Whenever I see that, it gets me stressed. Okay. Yay. I like how my wedding countdown stickers turned out there. I think that's like all I have to add for this week, guys. I think that we are, are done our plan with me. So when I have these stickers coming up in a, in a haul video soon too, but these are from Twice as Nice Lettering. You guys all know how much I love Twice as Nice Lettering stuff. And I think some of her stickers will match this spread really nicely. 
yeah, I'm going to go in with some of these like scarecrows and like pumpkins and I'm just going to decorate this week up a little bit, especially because I don't really have too much room to be decorating on this week anyway. It's actually like a very functional week. I am like loving how this all came together. Okay, so happy that I had those fall stickers. Alrighty guys, so this is my completed like vintage fall week. I absolutely love it. Um, I think it's going to be just as functional as my wine week was last week. Probably even more so because I had like a lot of decorative stickers, which are super nice. Decorative stickers are nice, but they're completely not at all functional. These ones that take up a whole space like this. Um, it was funny because on this Thursday I had the day off and I, I used this giant sticker, but I wish I would have had the writing room. Um, same thing with the Friday. I actually, on the way out to her wedding, I ended up um, doing a ton of wedding stuff and I wish I would have had like a checklist. So... They're nice, but um, yeah, it's kind of hard to use them. These ones aren't going to be so bad because I can just take some of the stickers in the back of the Erin Condren that you guys know I love, some of these, and just kind of cover them up if I need to. I did not use my hydrate bottles. I just don't know if I really have anywhere to use them. Let me see. Yeah, I am going to go in with some of these hydrate bottles here. I really missed not using these hydrate bottles last week. How silly is that? Hey guys, like, I don't know. It's like dentist stickers, just like my nemesis. Like, I can't believe I don't have an actual dentist sticker. Yeah, I'm not going to use this doctor sticker. I'm just going to take it off. Frick, I've wasted like two stickers this week. I'm going to make just an, my own little note here. Okay guys, so this is my actual final completed fall themed week. I absolutely love how it came together. It's going to be super functional for me, especially like my wedding to do category, my wedding to go category. I've got this one broken up nicely so I can still fill stuff in if I need to. Yeah, I'm really excited to use this week. So yeah, my next week's plan with me will be my wedding week. I don't know. I think I showed this in a different video, but this is my wedding week. It's just like an absolute crazy nightmare. So that plan with me will probably be like a disaster plan with me. I'm going to like organize before how I'm going to put it all together because this next week needs to be like super functional for me but I still need to fit all of this stuff in so watch for that next week. I did film like a couple haul videos and like a wedding planner planning video I guess and I'm hoping to get those up before I leave for my wedding or honeymoon but I no guarantees there. I'll try my best but um no guarantees because my wedding takes precedence now so I'm just happy enough that I was able to film this one for you guys. I know I said I might not be able to so Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Comment below and let me know what theme you did this week or what colors you used or anything like that. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.